I'm going to quickly reproduce one of these objects here, uh, maybe this one above the eye level in one point perspective. Oops, I put that for two point, but I'm just going to make it one. Uh, remember, one point perspective, your vanishing point is in the center, or there's only one of them, it's directly in front of the viewer. You could have the vanishing point off to the left or off to the right. That would mean that the view of the drawing is um, more seeing things from the left. There would be more on the right side if your vanishing point is over this way. Um, so, but uh, for the demonstration and for the assignment, you can have it, you know, close to the center. All right. So, one point perspective. You start with a flat rectangular face. Oh, that's a little crooked, but I'll make it work. Clean that up a little bit. <clears throat> All right. So it's a rectangular object. It's going to have these edges on the sides receding. And as they recede, that vanishing point tells you to draw to the point because as these parallels recede, it's going to look as if they're moving toward each other and that they would converge on the horizon in this vanishing point is that imagined point of convergence. There, there. Uh, there would be one up here too from this corner, but assuming this is a solid surface, we don't, uh, you would not see it. You could draw Make this to the vanishing point and draw that as if it were transparent. Um, it might help. In this case, I don't know that we really need to have that. And what did I do? I made a uh, well. I made an alteration here. I'm actually going to take this this out. I went up, over, and then I slanted it like that. That means on this edge I take this bottom part out. There's the bottom surface. I'll make that solid. From this, from these new corners I'm drawing, I'm drawing um, like an edge down the surface that's receding. This one like there to the vanishing point. This one you won't be able to see. So this shows you the change in the bottom with this kind of notch cut out of it. When I get back here, I can see this diagonal. Just try to repeat the diagonal about the same angle. And this will sharpen up. It'll be kind of like that. And there. Put that in a little more strongly, like that. And shading can help to make it clearer what it is you're drawing, or like what that alteration is. Like that. <clears throat> 